top of the morning to you, my Mequa Nature Preserve friends. So great to be back, especially here in the month of March when green is something we begin to see, especially those little shamrocks as they start to pop up. So today I'm going to read you a book called The Luckiest St. Patrick's Day. It should be a lot of fun. And I have a little blessing for you before I go. They talk of the luck of the Irish, but the shamrocks are magical too. But sure, it's more than Irish luck to be knowing someone like you. All the best. The Luckiest St. Patrick's Day Ever by Teddy Slater. Top of the morning, it's March 17. The leprechaun family is wearing the green. St. Patrick's parade is about to begin. The wee ones are marching. Come on, let's join in. There goes Belidia leading the clan, arm in arm with Granddaddy Dan. She swings her chalet. They walk and talk gaily and move as fast as they can. Timothy Shaughnessy, handsome and bold, marches along with a big pot of gold. And here comes Aunt Rose, tip-tapping her toes with shamrock in hand. She follows the band, decked out in her very best clothes. Tootle dee toot, rum a tum tum, Johnny and Jack play the fife and the drum. They kick up their heels in a wild Irish jig. Everybody's dancing, even the pig. After the march, it's back home for lunch. Mulligan stew and green apple punch. Katie cuts the cabbage. Pat smells the peas. The mischievous children do just as they please. Friends and family keep coming to call. There's plenty of food for one and for all. The Casey's, McGregor's, O'Grays, Peg, Finn, everyone's welcome. Please, won't you come in? Lassies and laddies stream through the door until there's no room for one call or more. The leprechauns crowd round the dining room table, piling their plates as high as they're able. But before they dig in, they have one thing to say. May the luck of the Irish be with you today. Happy St. Patrick's Day.